Now, before I get started, I want to go over a few safety tips for using a torch. Obviously, since this is a torch, we've got gas and flames involved. It can be very dangerous, but if you're safe and think through everything, you'll be okay. So first thing is to have your hair pulled back if you have long hair and don't wear hairspray. And uh, next you want to have clothing that's flame resistant. Um, I think I'm okay dressed like this, but some people like to wear like a leather apron or anything like that that would protect themselves from the heat more. Uh, also, you want to always be aware of your surroundings, know what's going on. You want to make sure that there's never like a gas or an oil spill where a spark that you know could fly and go, uh, go up in flames, anything like that. So be aware of your surroundings. Also, always have a fire extinguisher close by just in case there is any type of accident. Now, when you're working with the torch, uh, when you're using it, it's important to never have the lines from the torch in front of it. You don't want to have your torch on and then go across your lines because that can be dangerous. Make sure that they're not twisted and that they you know, move freely so that you are in control. When you're not using your torch, make sure that the gas is off. And when you're completely done with your project, turn it off at the tank so that there's no chance that you're gonna have any type of leakage or issue like that. For my eyes, when I'm just regularly torching, I like to just wear regular safety glasses, but when I'm using the cutting uh, tool or being able to cut with it, I like to have darker glasses since the light is brighter and I just want to protect my eyes and not be squinting too so that I can easily see what's going on. Uh, I have these big leather gloves that are important when you're torching and also after you torch, whatever you torched up is very, very hot. So don't take your gloves off and touch it or anything like that or you'll burn your skin. So keep these things in mind when you're torching and then you'll be safe. Throughout the video, from the angle of the camera, it might look like something's really close to me or something when it's not really just because of the angle of the camera. So bear with me through this process and we'll learn how to do the flywheel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the ring gear on a flywheel for a tractor. That's different than a ring gear on a vehicle that might bolt on or off. A tractor is different because it's fixed. We have to sweat it off or uh, sweat it on. So I'm going to show you that whole entire process. Now this ring gear is bad. You can see the teeth over here. I'll just put this paper behind it so you can see that the teeth are worn off here. Where here there is teeth, here there is not teeth. Uh, this tractor had terrible starting issues and that's why we determined that the ring gear was the issue. So uh, if you know your ring gear is bad, you can take it out of the tractor and replace just that ring gear on the outside of the flywheel. Now some people would like to use a torch and they would heat this whole thing up. They'd take a chisel and a hammer and beat it off and try to keep it hot as they're moving around the circle. You can do it that way, but it's really tedious and takes a long time. Now this ring gear is already bad, so we're gonna have to recycle it. So therefore, I'm going to just cut it, okay? I'm gonna use a torch and cut it. I'll get a spot here that's really hot and orange, and then once it's hot, I'll go ahead and cut through it. Gotta cut all the way in and be careful not to nick the flywheel. So I'll do that like so. Dial that back a little. Just heating up this spot really good here. Take a couple minutes for it to get orange. Get in there. I'll go a little bit more before I start cutting with it. Just gonna get a little bit closer there. My end's good, but I gotta get a little bit more there before I start cutting. Okay. Feel it's hot enough? Gonna move this other way. Here we go. I go a little bit more. A little bit more, we'll get it. 
Oh, almost through. There we go. Saw it break. There we go. And I'm just gonna beat this off. This is directional here. So you gotta be sure that you're getting the flywheel in the right way and then it will come right off. There we go, it's loose. There we go, ring gears off. We are ready to put the new ring gear onto the flywheel. I'm going to heat it up with my torch so that it's really hot and that the metal can expand and then we'll set it onto the flywheel. I have it off the flywheel right now so that hopefully the ring gear can absorb the most of the heat and not the flywheel. So we'll set it onto the flywheel and then my sister Hannah is gonna step in. She's gonna help me so that we can beat around there evenly while keeping the uh, ring gear hot. It's a uh, process that's tedious. You gotta keep it hot while you're doing it. Uh, one note is that the flywheel ring gear may be directional, so you would need to uh, consult a manual or look at your ring gear and make sure that you get it on in the right direction to avoid future complications so, you only, uh, you, so that you can get that on there correctly. So with that, we'll start up our torch here. on there. There you go. Nice. Wow, perfect. Okay, keep going. A little bit more over here. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, I think that's all the way down. Let me turn this torch off here. Okay, that went very smoothly once we got it heated up. You can see how it just would slide right on there. Um, right now, it's kind of loose on there, but that will quickly tighten up and, and tighten all the way. Then it will be firm on there. Then soon it will uh, cool down completely and you'll be ready to put it right onto your tractor.